Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing another college video. So if you guys don't know, I just finished my freshman year of college at Mount Holyoke College. So I wanted to do a what's in my backpack end of freshman year edition. I did do a what's in my backpack at the beginning of the year, but I thought it would be fun to do it at the end of the year to show you guys what supplies I actually use throughout the year, what stuff I just kind of like got rid of or didn't actually need and what you guys might want to get for yourselves for freshman year that is hopefully helpful. So yes, if you guys want to watch my first What's in My Backpack video, I will link it. I always forget what side it's on. Huh? Anyway, I will link it up above for you guys and in the description box. And yes, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. That really does make a huge difference for me and helps me a lot. So yeah. Let's get into it. Okay, so this, oh, it's so heavy. This is my backpack. It is very, very heavy because just like being in college, you always have textbooks, your computer, just like all the heavy supplies with you all the time. So that's why this bad boy is very heavy right now. I did obviously like put my computer back in and stuff because I've been using that since school ended but all the other stuff has just been kind of chilling out in here and I really need to clean it anyway. So this is my backpack. It's an Adidas backpack. I'm not really sure what the style is or anything but I've had this for a couple years since like junior year of high school I think and it's really great. If you guys are going into college I highly highly recommend you get a quality backpack. This one is great because the bottom is so wide that it kind of expands to fit everything I need in there so make sure it's high quality and can fit a lot of stuff and also has like a water bottle holder that is so important for walking around campus and extra pockets and stuff is always super important. So now getting into what is actually inside my backpack. So I'm going to start with this. This is my water bottle. You guys have seen this. Oh my god, I'm going to break something. Okay, so the first thing in my backpack is my water bottle. I use this literally every day of my life. Needless to say, this is an essential for me. I think it's so important to have a great water bottle, um, something big because you don't want to be constantly stopping to fill up your water or if you're not the kind of person you probably just won't drink as much which is not very healthy so make sure you're drinking your water if you're watching this right now but yes if you're going into college I highly suggest investing in a nice water bottle. This one is a hydro flask. It's a 32 ounce one and I drink about like two to three of these a day because I love water. This is going to be a lifesaver. It keeps it nice and cold. I love it. Definitely essential and I use this all year without fail so definitely needed that. Okay going into my front pocket. First I have this little keychain on here. So so this is a little hand sanitizer I have on my keychain. A little like hand sanitizer or something is really helpful. I did use this a lot, especially because I used public transportation to get to my other campus classes. So I was on the public bus and you just never really know what's been in there. So a little hand sanitizer is not gonna hurt. So in my pocket here, the first thing that I have is some chapstick or lip balm. This is the Glossier Mango Balm.com. I love this stuff. This is just like a little essential. I definitely did use this every day. Okay, the next thing I have in here, you guys, like my backpack is so much more disorganized than when I started school. I used to have all these like little like makeup bags as organizers. Yeah, that didn't last. <laughs> this little guy is so important and no one talks about tiny staplers and I swear you'll get it by the end of this. So this is my tiny stapler. It's just a little swing line stapler. It's pink because obviously this can actually hold I think like 200 staples or something so I have never refilled this and it's still almost full and I would use it all the time so that's great. So it's just a tiny stapler and the reason this is so important for college is because you will have to hand in almost everything in actual paper form or at least that's my personal experience. So all of your papers, all of your assignments, you'll have to use your own money 
to print them out, which is fun. Um, but anyway, you will have to print them out and staple them to get any credit for your work, which obviously you want. And the stapler is always broken, like the community stapler by the printer. I don't know why, I just think this is true at every school. It is the stapler curse. Get your own tiny one, you won't regret it. They're super affordable. I think this was like $6 or something and I use it like every day. My friends would ask me to use it because it's just so convenient and you will always have a stapler and it is so important. Please, please get a tiny stapler, you will regret it. Okay, now I have, oh. <laughs> this is literally a um, organizer that is empty because I just took all the stuff out of it and I have a single tampon in here so but definitely keep like pads and tampons with you if you can I feel like that's just a common sense essential in high school or you know whenever um, just to have that I obviously did not keep up with keeping this full but um there you go <laughs> Ew, there's trash in here I told you guys it would be realistic and it is okay I have a high polymer eraser I did not need this you don't need to get one in my opinion but it came with my pack of pencils so that's why that's there I have a lipstick never use this a pen you do need pens and pencils in college I am of the firm belief that you need to use actual paper and stuff and not do computer notes I do computer notes occasionally and I think that they're great for some things but for most stuff, I would suggest getting a notebook. Almost every class I was in, the teacher was like, please use a notebook. They didn't, like, say you had to, but they, like, highly implied that they prefer that you did. So, yes, definitely need more than one pen, but I seem to have misplaced the rest of them, so. Then I have a spray-on perfume. I actually do think you guys should keep this with you because... I used this one as a little, like, after-gym pick-me-up because I used my backpack as my gym bag so I would work out like almost every day at school and just having this would make me feel much more confident about like going to get dinner and stuff afterwards because you don't always have time to shower and like spruce yourself up so just give yourself a little mist of this one. I got this one in an Ipsy bag I think and it smells really good. It's the Nanette Lepore Beautiful Times Perfume. I actually do suggest you get one of these because it's helpful. I like it. Then I literally just have gum wrappers. You don't need to know about that. I'm going to clean that later. Oh, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Oh my god. Okay, now into this big compartment right here. This has a laptop sleeve in it, which I suggest you guys get if you are getting a new backpack for school. That's definitely important. You're going to need your laptop every single day of your life, 24-7 in college. Anyway, this is my laptop. You guys have seen it a lot in my vlogs and stuff. I obviously use it every day for editing, for schoolwork when I did online school. This laptop was my college, so yes. Um, I'm not going to go into depth about this. You guys know what a laptop is. Um, yeah, I did that super like basic girl thing and covered my laptop in stickers, which everyone at school seems to do, but I think it's really cute, so I did it too, and I love my laptop case, so no regrets there. Okay, the next thing, the next thing I have in here is a couple of folders. I'm actually not sure what's in these, but let's find out. So these are actually like my favorite kinds of folders. These are the Mead 5 star ones. I just like them because they're more durable and they don't rip as easily. I got these from Target um, and I put my handed back assignments and stuff in these. I usually don't keep them in my backpack so I don't know why they're in there. But I think these are good for organizing stuff in your dorm room, like handed back papers and stuff. What is yeah, there's a lot of assignments in there that we are not going to look at ever again because freshman year is over. <laughs> this is the next thing in my backpack is my notebook it is so beat up and so dirty because I got a white one because I was like oh it'll be cute and trendy and I don't even know what I was thinking but it's so dirty it is a Mead five star I think it's a four subject college ruled notebook you guys 
please get one of these. The first semester of school, I got five single subject notebooks and I do not know what I was thinking. I always misplaced them. It was so hard to know like which one I would bring on which day. So this is great because you just have all of your subjects in one notebook. So I love this one. It has little like dividers that you can put assignments in and stuff. So I would take all of my class notes in here. I had a little section for each class. And then if I got handouts, I could just put them right in my notebook. So if you guys absolutely need this, please, please get it. And don't get individual notebooks like I did because that was just not a good idea. <laughs> the next thing I have in here is a textbook. You will have to carry around textbooks, unfortunately, especially if you take an English class. Like, look at this. Look at this you see how large this is? Anyway, this is just a textbook that I had to use for my American Literature 2 class. It's a giant book and I am so glad I don't have to carry it on my back anymore. <laughs> okay, we are nearing the last couple of things in here. This is my next thing. You guys have probably seen this before. I mentioned it in a couple videos, but it is my academic planner. So I absolutely love this thing. First of all, it's the cutest thing ever. I love the stars and the gold and the pink. It's just so cute. And it actually has my name on it on the bottom, which I think is adorable. So I get a couple questions about this. It is my Erin Condren academic planner. So if you go to their website, you can design them a little and customize them with your name and stuff which is what I did but I just like it because it has a good quality paper um it's like a plasticky front so it won't get as beat up in your backpack because believe me I've had just like paper front ones and they got destroyed <laughs> so it has like it says for notes all the months laid out so yes I definitely love this planner Definitely an essential, and I did use it every day to plan out my assignments. And so the first thing I have in here is a pack of Ticonderoga World's Best Pencil, <laughs> just number two pencils. I just have a pack of these because you are required to use them on standardized tests, which suck. Like, I hate those kind of tests. Like, I hated the SAT with a passion, but you do still have to do, like, Scantron tests and stuff in college. I had a UMass class where I did that and then my other midterms and stuff at, at Mount Holyoke were more like essay writing and stuff but you're still required to use this type of pencil in like the testing room was all official and everything so that's why I have these. You do need them and it's better to get them before you freak out and realize you don't have any. So those are all the things that I had in my backpack at the end of freshman year kind of like realistic telling you guys what I actually use and um revealing that I have a lot of trash in my bag. I should probably clean it. <laughs> but anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys and showing what you actually need for college. And if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a like down below and subscribe. That would be amazing. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!